Ayo, Andy here, and I've been a little bit busy again making stuff, and obviously we've been releasing a load of stuff recently, but I've just made a new shader filter, because, you know, rounded corners, uh, not, not the cool thing anymore. There are rumours iOS 19 is coming out soon, well, obviously going WWDC, and they're kind of moving the icons now from, like, the rounded rectangle to make it a more round uh, obviously before it was a squircle this is also known as a super ellipse um, and I have decided to make a shader filter that will give you that effect so as you can see from just here you can do it per corner if you want and then the the Apple app icons are going to be looking more rounded like this soon in theory potentially I don't know I'm not psychic but that is the thing so I've created this shader filter uh, obviously, you will need the Shader Filter plugin uh, from Exceldra, which is just here. Uh, you can go check out all these links and support him just there. But this is in early access, so it will be for anyone that's supporting, even the bottom tier just here. Uh, Twitch subs get a discount as well. It's just to help me keep making this content for you guys. I'm releasing a lot of products at the moment. Uh, you'll be able to see on the StreamUp website, there is just so many things that we've just released um, which hopefully you guys love, like the game line, we've got the raid out alert, we got wasted, I've done videos in it all, we've got codec moments, loads of stuff, and you get access to all that when you use um, the product access one uh, just there. So you just press join now and, uh, and you can get on. Uh, my website's just kind of exploded a little bit, I don't know what's happened, hopefully I'll fix this before the video comes out, uh, but all we need to do is go to early access, and this will bring up these two new things we've got the squircle per corner shader and we've got the squircle shader just there so i've done it as two different downloads just to see um which ones you kind of download more which you prefer and stuff like that and just to get some insights it's going to be free for every member so you just make sure you're logged in and you can press download just here once that's downloaded, obviously, if you don't know how to install the, the Shader Filter plugin, then please go check out my previous videos on that. But once you got it, all you need to do is fire up into OBS. So I'm just going to create a new scene just here, and I'll just grab a color source. So the first color source I'll do just here, um, and we'll leave it as, we'll say, uh, 500 by 500, just so it's not too big, and we'll make it a pretty color just here. And the way that this works, you can use it on any source. So it doesn't have to be something like this, um, like a color source. It can be a camera, as you saw in my previous little example just here. Uh, you see it just there. You just uh, click the source, go to filters, or right-click, press filters, uh, press the plus sign, and we're going to add user-defined shader. Um, you can give it a name, all that jazz. You just press load shader text from file, and then you'll navigate to exactly where um, you saved it. So mine's just currently on the desktop. So I'll just show you the uh, the Squircle uh, version one. So that does them all at once. Uh, and then I'll zoom out, unclick it so you can kind of see what's going on just here. So the first thing you need to do is set the total width and height of the rectangle or the, well, the shape. And we do that by clicking the shape and press Control E. Control E will bring up the size parameter that you just want just here. And so we set this to 500 by 500. This will make sure the rounded corners are just the correct aspect ratio and everything like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, so as I increase the corner radius, as you can see, we get an increased corner radius. And I've made it so it goes really high, so you can get some really funky little shapes out of it. But we'll leave it as this. So you can see dead straight lines on each edge. And what I'll do is bump up the square corners. Obviously, this goes up a long way, and obviously, you can't see too much because it's if you start mixing really high amount of curves and stuff like that. I've just basically allowed you to have a bunch of functionality. So you can see we've got this squircle kind of effect just here, and we'll bring it down, and you can just get the perfect shape that you want. And the cool thing is, you probably notice that it's very smooth. So normally, in most shader fields and stuff like that, you get a lot of this pixelation. Uh, as the pixels uh, move around, you know, especially on the longer corners and stuff like that. And I hate that, especially when you're designing cool stuff. Uh, so I added this edge softness um, thing. And I just leave it on usually like three, somewhere between one and three. But it does a full feather effect for you as well. So if you want to create something like this, you could totally do that. And obviously, all your other things work alongside it. But if you just want it in a shape like this with really smooth edges, 
bang it on something like three, and boom, that is super smooth. Uh, the other uh, shader works exactly the same way, except obviously a couple more things in there. Uh, I spoke to Exceldro and he said, make sure you do a separate shader because it, it, otherwise it does m many more things that's going to take up your GPU resources. Also, please make sure you do go check out my website and all my links down below because I'm posting loads of stuff everywhere at the moment and you do not want to miss, all right? And come and follow me at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. We're trying to get the partner, the coveted partner, and I'm going to TwitchCon, so I'll see you on Saturday, Friday, Sunday. Yeah, much love. Um, so the top left corner, again, the shape, width, and height is exactly the same. The radius here, obviously, if you go too far, it cuts into the shape just there, which is not what you want. Obviously, you will have to balance these. Uh, and again, each corner has got its own square corner, so you can create some really cool-looking shapes that you want. Um, we can trim this one in if we want, push it right out, have it like this. You, you could, it's honestly a really cool plugin. I really like it. And again, this has got the edge softness as well. Obviously, if you start blasting it when all your corners aren't matching up fully, uh, that can cause some headaches. Um, but obviously, it just takes a little bit of tweaking to get the desired effect that you like. Uh, something really important to note as well is you can use it in conjunction with other plugins like the Stroke plugin and stuff like that, which is really cool. So if you're using Finite's uh, Stroke plugin, then go check that out. Uh, and hopefully you guys like this plugin, um, well, the shader, and please let me know what your thoughts are. It will be coming as a core bundle inside of OBS shader filter itself by Exceldro, uh, but not for a couple of months. I just want to give access to the people that support me the most uh, and help me keep doing this as a full-time job. All right, make sure you do like the video and subscribe and share it with a streaming friend. All right, much love. Put your rock in for the stone.